Did you start another rift? Yes. <sighs> Enemies of the Nephilim. Is she or her gums bleeding at all or anything? Who's? Zeros. I don't think so. Okay. Zero. Let's see what you're doing here. No, she's fine. Okay. Gross. Yeah? Is it still pretty no. cold or? No. She has chewed all the marrow out of it already. Well, that's the best part. Why wouldn't she? Am I in this wall? I am in this wall. With the frozen pulse. Woo! There's a lot going on all of a sudden. In my face. Yeah. It's okay, I got my blessed shield doing more damage now. Not yet. No! Stupid teleport. Which means it's really the only skill you should be using. Because <laughs> mm. it doesn't have a resource cost now. I know. I leveled. That's nice. Oh, not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. It's great. Uh-oh. Have you gotten any... Um... Stuff? Any stuff. <laughs> mm, yes, the stuff. <laughs> any legendary items? No. That's not true. I got a belt like half hour ago. Oh, really? No. <laughs> what is that? The, I it's that's always how it's been. I always. <laughs> oh, did you hear it? Yep. It's right there too. Yay! crappy place. <laughs> right? I was like, I clicked, I thought I clicked the thing and I came back through just to make sure I got all the stuff. Isabel, I think, is just waiting for her opportunity to take Zero's bone. Yeah. I'm fairly certain that that's exactly what she's doing. No! No! Farts. I didn't get out fast enough. She was saying heal me just as she died. That's a lot of arcane. <laughs> yeah. Oh, screw these guys. It's kind of a pylon. Did you get them? Good job. Not yet. Oh, farts. Crap. I need better cooldown. By the light be damned. I always like their one-off things. I don't know those bull things. What? I like how the one open rift we get and it's just like the density of elite packs is nuts. <laughs> Bugs! Jesus. I hate bugs! I, must wait longer. I need my skills to refresh. Nope! No! Run away! I need some health. Here we go. I found some health. It's still not terrible. Need to reroll some like life on hit on your hat or something. I guess. Fire all the things. 
Patience. Yeah, so I don't I yeah. I don't feel so bad not working there anymore. Not even a little bit. <laughs> so to did we talked about that, right? We talked about how to thank their employees for a record breaking sales the Monday Which before. Record breaking for them is like millions of dollars of sales in a day yeah in a day in a single day um they, <laughs> they bought their employees taco bell on cinco de mayo i was like there are so many mexican restaurants in and around our city that you could have absolutely had them cater with COVID-19 protocols in place. Anything. Nope. We're going to cheap it out and buy Taco Bell. Like, it was awful. And I can't eat it, so it doesn't even matter. So, nor would I want to, because it's not real food. <laughs> Didn't You told me that Taco Bell has been sued because they can't call their beef beef because it's not all beef. They cannot call it beef. They have to call it beefy. Like, why would you want to eat that? Because there's, there's not enough beef in their beef. There's too much beef. filler. <laughs> like, awful. Yeah, and that was their, their big thank you. And it's like, well, why don't you just pay your workers a living wage? <laughs> Uh, like, like, why isn't that the solution? And instead they give out bonuses like every three months and it's like, well, that's just cheaper for you to do than to actually pay your employees a living wage and give them decent benefits, which they don't do either. Yeah, I bet that's a pretty puny. Like, there's no PTO. You have to work there a year to get uh, five days paid vacation. Well, they did They did change that. Oh, right. That was, that was true when they, they got hired. But they realized that they couldn't hire people because everyone else had... Everyone else doing the bare minimum had more benefits than they did. Yeah. Well, and what was like... Even like working out in... In Gillette, you had a better benefits. Like how you accrued time off and oh, D all of the above. That job was so great. And I guarantee you, like, and so like my anniversary date, I was supposed to get two weeks. Yep. And I highly doubt they're going to pay that out. <laughs> yeah, I would be surprised. Because most companies do when you move on. They pay out your, I say most, not all. They pay out your PTO, your vacation time, however they, you know, label it. Not the company we worked for. Why would they do that? Oh, I got a war item. And, and I almost feel like upper management is like, well, my praise and thank you should be enough for you to do a good job. What? Like, they just don't have any incentives to to be a good employee. So why why bother? Like, that that's the, that you have to incentivize stuff, I think. Perhaps that's just me. Definitely is worthwhile, and um, and paying employees with their worth raises the caliber of people applying for jobs, like just yeah. straight up. And you experienced that firsthand. Yep. So. 
they have such high turnover. And it's like, well, you have high turnover because the job is crap and you pay crap and your benefits are crap. So are, how are you attracting good, hardworking employees if all of those things are true, except for a select group of employees that you feel that you can't live without. So you fawn on them and give them all kinds of benefits. And then you bring in other employees that don't get that stuff. So then what are they supposed to think? Right? Like this one gal got every Friday off. Three-day weekends. Gosh, that sounds nice. Why doesn't everybody else get that? Why is she the only one? Because she's not indispensable. I learned that pretty quickly in life. Everyone is replaceable. Everyone is replaceable. Everyone. But when you give them those kinds of benefits, like every Friday off, or whatever else you're giving them, it makes them feel that way. And so it, it doesn't create a good work culture at all. You should go through your gear and look at all of the pieces that don't have vitality and reroll something to vitality. Okay. Because there's no reason you should have half as much health as I do. La, la, la. I, you're saying I need to reroll more vitality? Reroll to get more vitality. Don't take things that have vitality already. Well, what about like life regen? What about life regen? Life regen is worthless. Okay. Okay. Plus life? Yeah. Is that good or? Uh, I mean, you really want raw vitality. So raw vitality would be better. That has vitality. That has vitality. That has vitality. Has vitality. How's it going there, Zero? That's funny, like every time I re-roll, I've re-rolled, I've gotten vitality on the first roll except for this last one. Okay, so now I have 281,000. Is that better? That's a lot better. <laughs> what do you have? Uh, 250. Mm. Oh, I forgot to get my... How did I forget a challenge rift? I'm overburdened. Oh, I need to spend blood shards, apparently. <laughs> Where's Kadala? Where'd she go? Right there. Well, it's a good paperweight. Maybe you can find a someday, perhaps. When I'm rich. I'm rich. But 
Did I get any better bracers? <laughs> Those Nevis' bracers are pretty good. Ancient Parthenon defenders. These? Alrighty then. Rock and roll. Are you strong enough to survive yep. the Rock and low. Oh, that's such a great ability. Man, I'd love to be able to help in this fight, but every time I get hit, I get knocked across the friggin' room. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Jesus. Nope, I thought I was going to run away, but I died instead. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Yay, I killed him. It's shake and bake and I helped. Such an old commercial. Commercial all about we're going to sell you this bag of breadcrumbs. Right. <laughs> Holy Arcane. Arcane? Arcane. arcane. Well, you have fun over there. My strength is restored. Oh god! I'm gonna run down here for a hot minute. Run around, light you on fire. Take your stupid arrows, you jerks. Uh oh, I found more stuff. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I don't die as quickly. Thanks. Magic. <laughs> what? Oh, well, farts. Okay. This is knockback uh, mortar bull crap. Like chaff before the wind. Like chaff before the wind. I'm over that. I haven't gotten knocked back. Well, I'm telling it like it is. <laughs> you're not getting hit by the mortar because you're up in their face. Oh. Well, that's fair. There's a pylon over there. Did you see it? Yep. Oh, frozen. frozen! No! I thought it was gonna frozen me. Oh, I'm so dead in here. <laughs> yep. Did you die? Giant fat things blocking the door. I had nowhere to go. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, frozen pulse. What? I also seem to be having a heck of a time seeing Frozen. Because, yeah, it usually has a much better visual. Yeah. Because it erupts, like, spikes on the ground. Yeah. So then, uh, Diva, what do you say to these... Um, employers who are complaining that nobody wants to work 
and using the excuse that nobody wants to work because they're making more money on unemployment with the government subsidizing unemployment because of the pandemic. I mean, it really says something when, so the, for, to make it clear, the government is giving people the equivalent of, um, roughly it works out to be, uh, about $14,000 a year. If people don't want to work for you because they're being paid $14,000 a year, what are you paying? Right. The national average for a household is $56,000 a year. If people won't work for you because they're making $12,000 in unemployment and that's more than they're making with you, what is going on? <laughs> But that shouldn't, they should want to work. Yes, yeah, star. Work. They just don't want to work for $2 an hour. Or starvation Weird. wages. What? Well, what about, you know, tipped workers? I think tipped workers should be paid more than anyone else. Oh, they absolutely. put up with your crap. Right? <laughs> and I think if you as a restaurateur cannot afford to pay them a living wage, you shouldn't own a restaurant. Right? Like. Greedy fuck. Like Olive Garden. <laughs> like any mass corporate restaurant chain like that. Like you should absolutely be paying a living wage. Because people you are... You can always say that like, well, then how would restaurants survive? It's like, well, ask the rest of the world. How do their restaurants survive? Yeah. We're one of the few nations in the world that does this. Everyone else has restaurants. Yeah, why should the your patron, your customer, be subsidizing... Your employee's wage. Well, I mean, technically that happens either way, but like, either they're subsidizing their wage through tips or they're subsidizing their wage through paying more for food. Uh, but you're, it's this weird obsession that America has with like the sticker price being lower than the actual price. Yeah. We do the same with taxes, right? Yeah. I think it's, you know, $20 before taxes because it's 1999 before taxes because somehow psychologically that makes it you feel better for paying for something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops, I wanted that down but here. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. Like, you have to charge an extra dollar so that you're, you can pay your employees a living wage. Like, do it. No! No! Frozen Pulse! The Rift Guardian has come. He spawned way out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, oh I'm in the middle of killing this thing over here, so... Sorry, I'm in the middle of killing this other thing. And him, who just teleported you, I think. Oh, good. Yes, he did. That's great. Thanks. You have fun with that. Okay. Let me finish, finish killing this guy. Just trying not to die. That's life, baby. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm just going through it, trying not to die. Stupid fear. Where did he float off to? The next room? <laughs> did you like see him? Out. He did. He just floated into the next room. I was like, where did he go? Dill like hole. He walked through the wall. Well, he is kind of a ghost, right? Yeah. The Crusader King. He's the Skeleton King. I always think it's funny when they rename bosses. Well, it's a it's a reference to a game. Oh. Crusader Kings. That's what you're here for. I would not. It's funny because it's not a bungee or not a blizzard game. Well, that was fun. Yeah. Oh, farts. Zero is still chewing that bone. Yeah. What did I get? Anything good? I don't know. Oh, good. I got a puzzle ring. 
<laughs> That's actually better than... Both of the you rings. How legendaries I got? None. None. <laughs> you know what the last legendary I got was? <laughs> oh no. You remember that Diabo I was complaining about? Oh my god, that was a legendary. <laughs> that was the last legendary I've gotten. <laughs> I love you. you have proven I think you're great. <laughs> I'm really worth replacing. <laughs> I think it's weird. Do you experience this when you play with your friends? When you play this game with other people? That they still get legendaries more than you? Or is it just me? Um, well, I know that, like, WoW was a pretty good example. So for when we first started playing the last expansion, mm -hmm. um, they included a, a system where, like, you got a guaranteed item at the end of the week after you did X amount of stuff. And then mm -hmm. the more stuff you got, the more options you got to choose from. Mm -hmm. um, four out of the six weeks that we did that, none of the options were better than things I was wearing. Oh. And everyone else got upgraded. Like, everyone else counted on upgrades from that. And I got nothing. What is that? For two-thirds of the time. Uh, Which is part of the reason why I stopped playing, because oh. it's like, this is stupid. Well, how did my mouse fall? That was weird. <sighs> my mouse just went for a ride. And they finally figured it out that people like me were getting left in the dust and they included a an older system that I always liked better. Yeah. Which was giving you tokens for completing things and then being able to buy things with the tokens because it, it means that you're not stuck waiting for the game to be nice and drop what you need to drop. Mm. I've always preferred those systems as opposed to luck-based systems. Like this? Because as a general rule, I don't have very good luck. Which is weird. Well, well I haven't gotten... Um, crap, that one. I have not gotten a furnace yet. I have not gotten a furnace. Got some knockback there. Dirty jerks. Ooh. Well, molten. What's is what's the fire on the ground? I never remember the different kinds Desecrator. of desecrator. Desecrator. Oh. Screw you, desecrator. There. I dropped my swords on him. Like it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> dropped it like it's hot. I'm so white. Painfully so some days. I know, right? Hey, at least I am aware. I don't know that that makes it okay. Ah, well. <laughs> I will tell everyone that I just finished watching season four of The Crown. And let me tell you... Prince Charles can eat a bag of fill in the blank. Something unpleasant that I will not say here on our stream. Like, just what a monumental, entitled bag of, bag of, bag of D's. That's what he is. An entitled bag of D's. And you can absolutely imply what I'm saying, and it's true. And maybe that was the whole point, that they portrayed him that way in this fictional, historical fiction TV show. <laughs> but just an awful human being. Self-righteous. Braggadocious. carried on his affair with Camilla Parker Bowles the entire time he's married to Princess Diana. Like, awful. Nope. All because his family wouldn't let him marry her? Like, what is the matter with you?
I'm not saying Diana was a saint. Because she certainly had her own demons she was dealing with. But he didn't make it any easier. So, I no longer like Prince Charles. You can fight me on that. I don't care. <laughs> Got a little slow time thing. Bubble. <laughs> My shields look funny. Woo! Oh, did you get up? Oh, you're at 69. I am a bubble away from that. This was not the right way. Oh, there's a... duder over here. A duder? Yeah. What, what does that there mean? There's your goblin. Oh. It's like, what are you talking about, a duder? March is on. Got him. Yeah? Yeah. Was he, what kind of goblin was he? A treasure goblin. Hey, thanks for the like. What is it? Cool. Oh, I'm just murdering pronunciations. Good job. Well, you know, cool. Kuhaja? Maybe I said that right? Hopefully. Maybe not totally murdered it. Thanks for tuning in. Giving us a like. As we fight the minions of hell. So one of the reasons I really don't like puzzle rings is because it gives you a little goblin and then you don't know if you're actually looking for a goblin or if it's your goblin because they make the same noises. And you're like, oh, there's a goblin. No, it's, it's, it's my goblin. So that's a, a negatory on that, Ghost Rider. Desecrator everywhere. Blowing stuff up. Oh no, I hate this thing. We'll kill it from afar. Because I can. Leviathan Greed Gallo is the name for you. Oh no! No! What had happened? Frozen! Oh, Jerk. I got frozen and something else. Poison. Frozen, frozen pulse poison. Oh, there's a shielding pylon right there too. Yeah, I saw it, but I didn't... I have the things on. So do you. But now we have shielding. Yay! Which is good, because when all of these things spawned, they trapped me in the middle of them. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. Good job, honey. Oh! Did you get something out of this chest over here? I actually did. I did, too! Oh, good for you. It's a Halasan's Ascent. Oh, well, you know. What did I get? I got a nutcracker. It's not better than my weapon.
as if that was better for you. I found the way out. <sighs> no more shielding. But I am happy to be able to ride my bike more often. Because before I could only really ride it three days a week. So why in the world would you want to do that for coming home from walking eight miles? Right. On concrete? I don't know. Nothing says I want to be healthy and take care of myself after walking around on concrete for 10 hours a day. Which is why that company should offer a shoe allowance on a yearly basis. There's a lot of things they should do. It's true. Shoe allowance, merit-based, and cost of living raises every year. What was the other thing that I, um, oh, like monthly, monthly rewards, like no picking errors for a month. You get some kind of like hundred dollar gift card or something. No packing errors for a month. And then that stuff, you know, grows exponentially. You go two months, you get something more, three months. You go a whole six months. You know what I mean? Like some incentive. Because there's none. Some incentive to not suck. Right? So you don't have to devise stupid ways to fire people other than just to fire them? Because they have no disciplinary policies, so they have no like three strikes and you're out kind of thing. So they have no real logistical way to honestly... I don't even know why, because Ohio is a right-to-work state, so you don't have to have a reason to fire someone. And of course, people misconstrue what right-to-work means altogether. And it, it's, not, it's not a good thing. Any state that's a right-to-work state, it's not a good thing. Like, I don't know why anyone thinks it is. Well, we don't have to pay that union due. Okay. Also means you won't make union money. Yeah, so you can say goodbye to all the benefits you get of being in a union. Your boss says he wants you gone. Guess what? You're gone. Have fun. She isn't up to anything suspicious. Do you think it's bullcrap? That sucks. There's no recourse. No recourse. And, and, and people complain, sure, there there are. I'm not saying that unions don't have their... Corks and faults. But they are still there to protect the worker, which was the whole point. <laughs> you know? Thank your five-day work week. A union helped you do that. Child labor laws, unions. Vacation, union. Benefits, unions. Like... A lot of these modern day things, we have unions to thank for them. But corporations got you thinking that they're bad. Unions bad. Yeah, because then you don't have to treat your employees well. Look at all that money and effort. Amazon put into making sure that that potential union, what was that in Alabama? Sure. One of their warehouses didn't happen. That's being investigated. <laughs> oh, I have the fire boots. Burn the ground you walk, dealing 353% weapon damage each second. Nice. I like those. Those are fun. Oh, halfway to level 70. More, a little more than halfway to level 70. So should be the last rift, rift we have to do until 70. Or until 
Yeah. And then we'll get 70. That's nice. What haunt are you? What rune are you using on your haunt? Uh, haunted enemies take 20% more damage. Oh, nice. Ooh. So much fire on the ground, I don't know what's my fire and what's their fire. Ooh, run away. Oh, that's a lot of arcane. Run away! Well, I just killed all the minions, so you're welcome. Not ready yet. You're welcome. That's a goblin over here somewhere. Are you sure it's not my ring? I do not hear your goblin. Oh, okay. I do. How did I end up over there? Oh well, you just sucked me back in. Thanks. He is right here. We get him? He is still right here. There we go. But I am glad that we're vaccinated. Yeah. Like that, that makes me feel a lot, a lot better. Knowing that even if I do get COVID, I'm not, I'm not going to die. Because you have to worry a lot less about stupid people. Right. being selfish the same stupid people that were uh going to uh <laughs> going to gas stations and putting gas in plastic bags <laughs> yeah. my favorite though was that that lady someone posted on reddit that was putting gas in a 10 gallon tub like a tote <laughs> oh. <laughs> on the ground so she hadn't even no lid like what were you thinking lady she wasn't is really the yep. the impetus of that she was not thinking and then the irony of course is that there was no gas short no like what what were they thinking was going to happen but that's the that was like that that meme i sent you about the the pizza party right the person that takes three pieces because they think pizza's going to run out versus the person who only takes one piece because they think pizza's going to run out. Yeah. Like, that's America right now. <laughs> like, give me a break, people. Like, you're the one who's are crea they're creating the shortage. They're creating the panic. There isn't one. Yep. But way to go for making it worse. It was the whole debacle with the toilet paper at the beginning of the pandemic. <laughs> right. Like you're just, you're making it worse. <laughs> you're just making it worse. 
There's no actual shortage. You created the shortage. If you just would have bought your regular amount of toilet paper, everything would have been a-okay. Nope. Not in America. Where most people are using their brain to keep their ears apart. Was that a resplendent chest? Where? Oh, was that a goblin? It was a goblin. Oh. You pay more attention. Read your chat sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Falling sword. Ah, oh, stupid teleport jerk. I need some cooldown reduction. That's what I need. That's a semi-open rift. Just need a ring of the zodiac. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. We had a lovely brunch this morning. Yeah. Made some almond flour waffles that were tasty. Eggs, some bacon, and our fruit salad. It was nice. Where are you at, Scooter? Right here. Oh, okay. I think we should do plants today. Okay. Get all those repotted that need repotted. So they have time to settle before we move. Pretty sure you've said that daily. Mm hmm. Like have the I? Last, like month and a half. Mm hmm. Well, it's hard to want to do anything after you just work. And then you see, like, how Americans don't take care of themselves because they're too fucking tired. <laughs> like, too... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Snickle Fritz. I meant to hit my health button and I hit the map instead. That's not going to help me stay alive. Stupid map. But yeah, that's, that's just like this horrible, cyclical nonsense. Americans aren't healthy because they work too much. They're too tired to be healthy because they work too much. There's no work-life balance. It's just work. And then maybe a life, if you're lucky. Did it again. God, this poison just goes forever. I wish I could do that. I grow weak. Oh, it's poison blobs. That feels better. I hate Gom. He's disgusting. Oh, you fart. Oh, he's so gross. Disembowels himself. Well, not really. It's just how he dies. It's disgusting. I've always thought he was disgusting. I need to go back. Oh, farts. <laughs> Mm. 
Did you get everything you wanted picked up? Uh, no. No, okay. I didn't get a lot of anything. Oh, is that better? Ah, <sighs> better weapon. Ooh, yay, I got a better ring. Buy puzzle ring. Oh, we could do... Now that we're 70, we could do um, Greed's Domain, right? We could. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a Demon Hunter cloak. What did I get? I got uh, Johanna's Argument. Increase attack speed and damage of Blessed Hammer. I might as well cube that, right? Sure. I mean, sure. Could cube it, yes. I don't, I don't know what you wanted me to say. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I won't use it just yet, but it's a good, good cube to have on hand. And plus, you have to cube so many items for an achievement anyway, right? Yep. Na, na, na. Fate, is rewarded. Fate is rewarded. Need to do my skill. Need to do a socket. So we've reached level 70, so we now have a fourth passive, which is great. Oh, I could increase my blessed shield damage. I think that's a good a good fourth skill, don't you? Yep. Since that's what I'm using right now. Got my last Runes on Bombardment. It's still sticking with Fallen Sword. Just because I, I like what it's doing for me right now. Yay! Oh, now we have Paragon Points. What? Yep. I wonder how fully we have to equip a follower. All the things. Oh, I forgot to do that because I had gotten a thing and I didn't use it to equip the follower parts. Oh, so I have to craft a level 70 weapon or piece of armor. What did you craft? Uh, crap for my follower. Since we have to outfit him anyway. Oh, right on. I need that. It's like, where are the followers? Some new things for you to take a look at. <gasps> did they? When did they change that? Oh my god, this is the whole thing with this season. <laughs> we had this talk. We did? Yes. It's the deal with the season. It's the season of followers. Oh, well that's fun. And annoying. Mostly annoying because it doesn't do you any good as uh, someone who plays multiplayer. Oh, right. Yeah. So we gain zero benefit from this. From this season's thing. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, so like if you look at there's some there are a handful of items that when you like look over them they have a little blue text the legendaries have a little blue text that says emanates. Oh, yeah, no, I thought I saw that and I was like, what the H does that mean? Those are legendaries you can give to your follower and you will gain those benefits. Oh, well, that's fun. I guess that's fun if you are a single player. Yep. So that is fun if you are a single player. Not fun if you are a multiplayer, which is what we are. Yeah. I mean, to make it, I think to make it fair across the board, you should have been able to have a follower playing multiplayer. Like, that should be a thing. In my opinion. Needs a helmet. Ugh. Just crafting all this stuff for him. To finish this. Armor. Needs chest. Shield. Boots. Does he need a belt? The first item you get is freaking gloves. Ugh. What's the matter? Well, because one of the things this set needs is a Tasker and Theo's, which I actually got. Docking. But the first pieces of your set that you get are. Why can't he use the shield? Oh. And gloves. It's a Crusader shield. That's. Cannot give non-crusaders crusader shields. Well, I didn't realize I was making just a crusader shield. It's my own fault for not paying attention. <sighs> Not <-de> da. <laughs> da. Don't know why I have yellow submarine in my head all of a sudden. So I need a helmet, rings, gloves, amulet. Helmet. Gloves. Two rings and an amulet. Super exciting here, equipping my follower to get this achievement. If I'd been paying attention, sometimes I'm usually good about it and like equip it as I get stuff, but I, I wasn't paying attention. Fully admit that right here. There we go. I've completed my season journey. Who did you equip your Templar? Oh, chapter two, anyway. Yeah. We should be pretty much done with chapter three. We just have to kill Diablo and Sedea. Oh, right on. Which we can either do now or later. Later. Because it is that time. It is that time. Where's my little ring? There it is. It is that time. We actually made it through our whole stream this week. Yeah. <laughs> and didn't and didn't quit early to go take a nap. <laughs> didn't yawn ourselves to death. Oh my gosh. We were so tired last week. Cause didn't then I took like a giant nap on Sunday too, didn't I? Yep. Right, so um the Crusaders uh set set armor that they get is the Roland's is Roland's legacy. I don't know. I, I, it's a shield bash and um, sweep attack. Sweep attack. Build, which is fun. I enjoy sweep attack. It is it is fun. But I'll muck around with that next week. I'll just leave it in my inventory. 
What do I look like now? Oh, I look like a hodgepodge. <laughs> That's great. I'm not a fan of those shoulders, though. I'm going to change my shoulders. Who knew that this would be fun? Deciding how aesthetically pleasing my stuff is. Oh, those are my favorite shoulders. I really like those. What are those? Those are weird. Like little knives on top. I like the spiky things. Nice. My hexing pants of Mr. Yan. Armor. Who knew that dressing up a character would be fun? I don't like that. I'll just keep what I have. Maybe I'll just change the color. My dog is still chewing on her bone, ladies and gentlemen. That's nice. What's the... Ooh, I don't like that. Nope. That's ugly. Nope. Nope. Ooh, that's terrible. Of course. Not awful. Not what I'm looking for. White it is. I don't like the black. No, that's fine. So like, you can change what your weapon looks like. You can change what your shield... Everything you can change its appearance. I don't mind that for now. I don't mind it for now. Well, folks, that is all we have time for today. Um, be sure and tune in next week and tomorrow. Tomorrow, what are you what are you streaming tomorrow? I think we're gonna end up playing more StarCraft because Gumby is busy. So tune in for some StarCrafting with Diva and his friends. Um, Unless Aaron punks out, then we're playing Monster Hunter. <laughs> Unless that, then he'll be play Monster Hunter. Either way, you know, it's always a good time. So he streams uh, noon to 2.30 or 3, whenever they feel like wrapping it up. Um, yeah, but tune in next week. Uh, we might play a new game. I don't know. We might play some more Diablo. See how we feel. I feel. It's really my choice what we play. Because it's my show. So there's that. Uh, yeah, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your weekend and a great week. Um, you know, the pan pandemic is still something that is happening. People are still getting COVID-19. They are still being hospitalized and they are still dying. So if you can do all the things to help slow the spread of the pandemic, do all those things. They now actually include a fifth something, right? So you can wear a mask when you go out, even though the CDC says you don't have to if you've been vaccinated. Um, so there's that. Um, so I guess that's just a personal choice, but if you are feeling a little ill, wear a mask. Let's, let's make that not a stigma to do because then that just helps everybody. But then of course, those people who weren't wearing masks to begin with don't give a crap about people. So there's that. Um, but you know, you can still social distance, wash your hands, um, and get vaccinated. Heck, you know, in Ohio, you have a chance to win a million dollars if you're if you get vaccinated. So why why not? Why not get vaccinated? Heck yeah. So so there's that. So, you know, it's still happening. It's still very real. Please take care of yourself and be safe. Tune in tomorrow and next weekend. Hope you have a great week, folks.